Tonight's DJ and TV show is sponsored in part by Electro Voice. DJ Event Planner. ADJ. NLFX Professional. Promo Only. Newmark. And DJ and TV Insiders. Hi, this is John Young with the Disc Jockey News and Disc Jockey News TV. Thank you for joining us tonight out on Facebook and out there on YouTube. For tonight's show, we've got a special guest. Don't you love me anymore? Hey, this is John Young with the Disc Jockey News. Today we're going to be on our Tuesday tip. We're going to be talking about something called thermal throttling. Now, for some of you that you've not heard of this, some of you have heard of this, and this is old news, but if you haven't heard of this, this is something that is very common with computers, laptops, desktops, what have you. And this is something that can come on as they age a little bit more and be more prevalent. What thermal throttling is, basically, is that these machines get warm, and the machines have the built-in capability to slow their processors and things down inside them, work slower, so that they can basically not create as much heat. If they're working harder and faster, they create more heat. If they are throttled because of the temperature, they will not create as much heat. So if you're doing something where you're mixing and you're doing video mixing or you're doing video creation and they get really hot, well, then you're probably having the device starting to throttle that thermal protection thing kick in. So there's, there's a couple of things with this. First off, I've got a, a MacBook Pro here. This is an older one. And they had that capability where they would be getting too warm and do that. Uh, yes, there's breathing and, and there's a little, you can hear a fan kick every once in a while. But as they get older, some of the pace and such that they have on the chips that will allow them to kind of dissipate some of that energy and that heat, it starts to get old and it should be replaced, which is way beyond most of us. I actually have an iMac that's going to be taken apart this upcoming weekend that's having new paste to put on everything. And they're saying that I might get about a 25% bump when it gets warm, that it will give me more time before it starts to uh, slow itself down. Some people have reported when it came to the max that they are getting you know, somewhere in that 10 to up to 40% of the processor speed is gone because it is warm. If you're outside DJing, it's a warm day, it's a humid day, you're going to, you'll notice it. There's no question about it. You're going to have it. And it won't matter if it's a Mac or a PC or anything. You're going to notice that the, the unit is going to be doing something to protect itself. If you are outside, there's a few things you can, you can do with that. First off, ideally have air moving. You want to make sure that maybe the, the uh, unit isn't sitting on a cloth or anything. You want to have it maybe propped up just a little bit so air can get under that. Ideally, if you even had a couple of you know, little sticks or something that would allow it to get up on a DJ stand, you know, this is obviously a flat surface, but if you had like a DJ stand that had just the two bars and such and it kept it all open, that would certainly be advantageous. Fan. If you have a small fan and you can blow a fan across it, that's going to help just to keep the things a little bit cooler. But when you're dealing with humidity and the heat all together, you're going to just have issues. And you may end up going to something like an iPad or something that's going to allow you to be able to play music and not have the problems if you are having problems with your laptop. So always make sure if you're doing an outdoor thing, have a backup. That's going to be something that will be able to handle it. Even if it's handling it at a lesser performance ability, you're still going to have music. So anyway, thermal throttling is definitely a thing and it's something to be aware of that it's going to happen and certain conditions is going to be more prevalent than other conditions. And there's ways to fix it. If you really, really want to fix that laptop that you love so much, you can take it into someone who works on laptops such as the Mac, the MacBook Pro here. I could take it in and they could actually go and take it apart and do some re thermal pasting and such. That would help it and be able to extend its life a little bit. The iMac, we're going to be doing that with this weekend, and I'm trying to try to shoot some video and such, talking about that a little bit this weekend, so you get an idea of what thermal throttling is and how to fix it. This is John Young with the Disc Jockey News. Thank you for watching.